so excited for another guest of our 12 guests of Christmas. And today it's two. Oh my gosh, the Sidley twins. Oh, let's get into it, shall we? Hi. Hi. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I'm Andy Signor. And hi, yes, hi. We have Nancy oh, and Stephanie Sidley of the Sidley Twins. Uh, Sue connected me to you guys. I, I'm a big fan now. Uh, twin Talk. Look at this. Our first twins on the channel. I love it. And you guys have been doing some great uh, reporting on Team Sussex and the Royals. And uh, we are going to talk today about the friends of Meghan Markle, how they don't seem to be as good as they uh, look. It's always interesting, right, guys, how you... Somebody paints themselves as this very charitable, amazingly good, gracious person, but they always got some skeletons in that closet, don't they? Yeah. Uh, so I, let's talk. I want to bring it up. Also, so we have Nancy and Stephanie. Thank you both for being here. Uh, I'll let you decide who talks when. I'll go to you. I'll go. But what? What? Before we even get to the friends of Megan, what was it about Megan and Harry that prompted you to start reporting on them? What was like the turn for you where you were like, oh, I do not like this duo. The the Oprah interview was it for me. It really was. I, I was trying to give them a chance when they moved to the States, like, oh, maybe they'll do some good. But man, oh, the Oprah interview, especially like two weeks before Prince Philip passed away. It was like, OK, we <laughs> we need to start calling this girl out because she's a liar. And and we started just kind of collecting old um clips. clips of her talking and then the oprah interview uh clips so it was like her saying one thing and another thing she was just very hypocritical it and so easy to debunk most of the things she was saying yeah. like um not calling her kids prince and princess well that was easy to deb debunk because king charles had to be king in order for her kids to be prince and princess there were so many lies going on and we just couldn't let that go on we were very close to our grandma so we saw it as a form of elder abuse mm. and we just decided to just call her out on things and yeah, and her saying that she was never uh, you know she never had a sister and of course samantha markle debunks all of that and um it just and it, her saying she was of uh, this famous move this famous person in la and we're from the same generation we lived in la for 13 years we were around the same people as her she was not a fame she wasn't around anybody i mean it was like what is she talking about yeah it was so easy to just like I said, but, debunk anything she that came out of her mouth. Before all that, did you feel for her? Like, were you rooting for her? I I didn't. Stephanie, I did. <laughs> the, like the, the her. sisters we, disagreed. <laughs> we did. Well, we we do not agree on everything. We twin fight all the time. But um, I personally loved when she married Harry and I saw the whole wedding and I was intrigued by her. I thought she was gonna do all this good in the world. And then the day the mask fell for me was when she announced her pregnancy or her alleged pregnancy uh, the day of Eugenie's wedding. wedding. I just, when she wore that maternity coat and she had the bump, I was like, wow, she couldn't give Eugenie one day. Yeah. And you that's know, when it did it for me. That ticked her off. That a lot. ticked, yeah, <laughs> because you don't do that to a girl. She and I don't. I know she's not a girl's girl. She is not. She no. she seems no. like she's like into Marcus Anderson, and she's she's like a guy's girl. So that did it for she's me. She's like a Tyler Perry kind of gal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She hates women. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely hates women. But yeah, it's weird as as we get to that because we're going to talk about Tyler Perry. It's I, I've I, I know you guys did too, and let's so it's I love getting the background on you both, but let's get into this topic of yeah. Now Oprah and Tyler Perry, their skeletons are coming out, and people Ooh. obviously Meghan Markle fans are excited. But it's interesting because you guys said and you brought it up because I was like, what do you want to talk about? You you guys had sort of it seemed like done your own homework and knew about these these. Uh, uh, people don't like Tyler Perry. Not everybody actually likes Tyler Perry. There's this weird thing that you uncover. And I, I, the same things with Oprah. There was a period there where Oprah could do no wrong, but I slowly knew before others, oh no, she's a snake. It was so yeah. clear to me what she did to Michael Jackson and so many other things throughout her career. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's interesting. Tyler Perry, 
Uh, you brought him up. Let's go there first. There's a lot of backstory. You guys knew about the Boondocks episode, which I don't know if a lot of people do. They pulled it off I the used air. To watch it. Yeah, yeah. It was a wild episode, right? Where they they did this whole takedown of just I don't know how much I, I'd show it to you, but I don't. Tyler might strike us. But there's this whole like parody character of this Medea character. Uh, that seems like Tyler Perry and how he uses Jesus to basically dress up as women and get these hot men to rub all but it's it's this it's it's very funny and definitely uh, uh it was a pretty pretty big commentary on him but now as this stuff's coming forward and the fact that uh Tyler pulled that from TBS was mm -hmm. very telling too anyway yeah. there's a lot of stuff now that seems to be unraveling what do you guys think of all that I mean, there's always been rumblings about Tyler. Obviously, the Oprah thing has been going on for a long time. I, I really am surprised, like you, that not enough, not a lot of people knew about how Oprah was. I mean, the whole John of God thing. Do you know the John of God? I know, but I just wanted to bring that up. <laughs> um, but the whole Tyler Perry thing, he's there's always been rumblings in Hollywood. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see. Is... See, I've watched Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> and they have said on numerous episodes oh, yeah. of, of the housewives that, you know, he could be this, he could be that, you know, allegedly. there's allegedly, but uh, no, this is what the, oh, the, so, but like tea, they're dropping tea on him, not supportive they're dropping of tea on that show about Tyler Perry mm. already. He's actually been in a couple episodes of real housewives of Atlanta. So I, I always was picking up on, on, on that kind of vibe and, 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 you know, but it, you know, it's not, it's not that weird to have to have a beard in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Mm. He, Tyler Perry could be that way and have a have a beard. What suck? What, what the bad thing about it is he's using his power to get these men allegedly. Allegedly, he, I was allegedly, not to interrupt you, I but I just want to again by time of taping alleged. when alleged. this taped, guys. This was still alleged, but it's kind of like who else? Who else yeah. would it be based on all the stuff <laughs> that's said? But Sorry to interrupt, but yes, allegedly, yeah, no, no. based there's on what nothing, Christian Keys, go ahead. Nothing, yeah, there's nothing wrong with um, Tyler's lifestyle. There is something wrong if he did allegedly do this to Christian Keys, because I did watch the entire, it's like an hour long Instagram yeah. story, and it was really sad. I mean, the guy was crying, and I felt really bad for him. So whoever did this to him, I really do believe there was a person that did this to him. I just don't know who. Yeah, I mean, he definitely is. was involved in S.A., you know, he, he, someone did that to him. Um, you, so I, I, I'm asking just cause you did, but I mean, I, I, I could tell the emotion was there. Like he was definitely hurt. You could tell there was trauma as he was sharing those stories, absolutely. but there was still a little bit of like, I don't know. There was still a little bit of a cloudiness to it. That was confusing me. I was like, I'm like 50, 50 still. I, it's like, yeah. I don't like people who come forward and announce I got receipts. They're coming or yeah. like, hey, I'm not going to tell you who, but it's somebody or you know. Them. Those are huge red flags for me where I'm like, that's not fair. It's just like what Megan did to the Royals. Did I mean, do you know what I mean? Did that bother you or you you pretty much you bought it based on what he told you? I didn't but I don't buy listen, I believe I believe 50% of what I hear and all that I see. So Smart. I I I'm still on the fence. This is the thing. He's I I don't know what his reason would be for this. If, if he did this money, I can, see, I can see Megan's reason because she has nothing to go, but she has nothing left in her life. But this guy's a, I think an established actor, actor in the black community. And I know his work and I just, I don't know what his reason would be for doing this, I guess money. Yeah, I, we'll I, see. I and, and again, I'm good for him to cut. Let's hear him out. I, I just, yeah. I, I hope he brings the receipts and doesn't just tease it out like he did, but all this, so again, allegedly, we don't know if it's connected to Tyler, but between now the rumors of Tyler, between the rumors of Oprah, it does seem like two people who seem too big to fail that have serious <laughs> connections to helping Megan come along are now starting to have their floor crack beneath them. What do you think that says about Megan and Harry and picking their their well, friends, think, idols? Uh, are they even friends? We <laughs> I don't think they're friends. I don't think they're friends. <laughs> I think superficial friends. We, mm -hmm. we actually did a video on this where we think there is an actual entity, a group of people that are really trying to abolish the monarchy. I know that sounds like, you know, putting on our tinfoil hat. But if you look at the um, groups that, the, like the number one charity that Meghan and Harry gave money to, which they gave like $200,000. Um, it was the Fatherhood Initiative. 
and it's for it's to like for toxic masculine i don't know and all this crap all this woke stuff and they um the people behind it are like black rock and the Soros group. It's like the and people that Netflix. are- Yeah, the people that Megan and Harry are mixed up with, it just seems like there's just- All, all roads lead to Oprah. Oprah <laughs> and they all lead to Oprah. Hopefully they not do. for long, but sadly for a while there, yeah, it seemed that way. Yeah, yeah. but I, I think, yeah, I think as far as Oprah, Oprah was cut, cutting ties with Megan and Harry. I really do believe that because I didn't see her walking the red carpet at that variety remember that variety thing that she that she, she was walked at, that yeah. she recently walked in i didn't see her at the color purple um um premiere, premiere. i thought see, megan i thought there. megan would be there for that it's just the yeah i think i think i think they're kryptonite at this point to to, yeah. to even oprah and tyler perry at this point you know what i mean yeah it's interesting no, you're right you bring up color purple and it's true like it, it may that was something megan well, i'm sure would have dropped and anything to be on there. Yeah, right, and it's like, as the there. black woman of Hollywood, right, Meghan Markle yeah. would have loved being on that <laughs> carpet to do all those selfies, and she wasn't, and two of her besties were there. So I guess that's what's interesting. These aren't really her besties. They're just no. superficial, famous people who used Meghan and Harry, I feel like, when they were hot commodities where they were coming away and had some some clout still, and now that the stock has gone down tremendously, oh, are yeah. probably playing nice when they need to behind the scenes, but clearly not going to publicly stand forward and, you know, support them and continue. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty telling on how that is. And and do you, do you suspect though, that these people with these dark skeletons are attracting each other, that they were almost aiming at Megan similar, like, Ooh, another one in my sights. What do you, what do you think this connection means? I kind of think, I mean, I mean, what do you mean is the connection, like the connection between Oprah, Tyler, and Megan as far yeah, well, as... Yeah, I think there's some corruption. I'm, again, speculation warning. I think there's definitely some corruption in the worlds of Oprah and Tyler, right? Well, and of they're, course. They're, that they're sinister people. Alone. Do you yeah. think they I mean, notice we... that in Megan? Like, ooh, yes. another another one that we can try to bring into the cabal, if you will. Do you know what yeah, I mean? I think, yeah. I think Megan is, is, has no empathy. She lacks morals. So I think she was easy to bring in. And I always have had a theory that she had a lot of collateral on Harry when they were dating. I don't think Harry thought he was going to marry this woman, but I think she might've gotten him in a position where he might have had too much to drink allegedly one night, or he took a picture she, like Amber might, heard. She might have taken a picture, a video. Um, we saw that she was very camera happy on the Kensington Palace grounds. That's why she was asked to leave. That's why they put her at Frogmore. So I think she had, I, I, I think she's willing to do anything. And that's what attracts Oprah and Tyler is because they're mm. like, oh, good, someone that someone that has we can fruit. use that will do anything. See, that has I, I, I'm, I was thinking that maybe they saw her as sort of naive and oh, one we can she's going to be so blinded by our fame. Yeah. But the problem yeah. is Megan's going to be one that probably turns on them or screws yeah. them over. That's the weird thing of when I these know. types of people unite, right? Yeah, I already see her turning on Omid Scoby. So I it would not shock me if she turned on on Oprah and Tyler as well because she Ma Megan's so screwed right now with with WME. I mean, they have her just in this bubble right now and they don't know what to do with her. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if they let her go by the be at at the beginning of the year. I wouldn't. Either, I would yeah. not be shocked by that cuz there's so much Ari Emanuel can do. Okay? And Megan's got to do something fast. For like, those of you who don't know, he's the uh, Kardashian manager. Yeah. he. I mean, it, Megan's either has to, like, fake a robbery soon yeah. or, like, give birth to a... Oh, yeah. I want the views on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has to give birth to an alien because it's like she's... Some say she already has. Means, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she's using those kids as collateral. That's what well, But do you believe there are kids? I believe. Okay, this is the thing. I see because I get an argument because I'm like, all right, I could believe the surrogacy. I do believe that. That's I, something I'm yeah. like. But the idea of that, and people get mad at me when I say this, and I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean, but the idea that those two bozos could withstand yeah. it and keep that kind of con going this long without someone being like those, you know, proving that those kids are rented babies is I to me way beyond their their brain level. There's no way they kids. could keep those balls in the air as long as it's been. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, believe there yeah. are kids. Do I believe that Mary 
Mary, that Megan carried the children? Absolutely not. Allegedly. I, I do not believe though that. They are the heir. They are the blood lineage to the king, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I believe surrogates. You think they were surrogates through there, so through another mom or I something? I believe yeah. that Megan, I think a long time ago, like most women in their late 30s or 30s, she probably froze her eggs. That's just a common thing you do in Hollywood. And I think she just had them on standby. That I, mm. I, That's what I think. That's that's If they are even her eggs, who knows? No, no, no. She looks like Archie. They're Archie and her. I mean, if you yeah. look at Archie, that, you know, but do I believe, but the, re the reason why she can't come out and say it was a surrogate is because she, they're not of the body. And it says to be part of the um, royal, what, what is Oshelon. it? Oshelon. Yeah, you yeah. have to be of the body. So, you know, that's why I think that. <laughs> She's not going to come out and say that. I think until till the divorce happens, we're not going to know crap. We're well, not going to know squat about those kids. And that's her next move. Her next think. move will be a divorce. Yeah. I do. I'm robbery. with you on that. I, and we, yeah. we we stay tuned. We have theories on that. But yeah, she's it's going to be. She's going to make so much money off that. And and, and these, like, I, but I think she's hoping for these friends to be there in that too. And I don't think they're gonna when they're they. Not she's going to have to vilify Harry, right? to become yeah. the victim to get everyone to support her again. So will the the dark will she join that cabal again? We'll see, yes. but <laughs> I mean what what she what what is that? That's going to what? Kevin Costner's backyard and go to a party there. It's like that's you know, that's even the most embarrassing thing that has happened lately, yeah. you know? That's not even the most embarrassing thing. Yeah. I mean the whole Well, thing what's really embarrassing is literally as we were taping this cuz I'm banging this, I just saw Queen Camilla is launching her own podcast <laughs> featuring celebrity guests. I can't imagine how upset uh Meghan Markle. Oh, this is a few yeah. days ago. I thought it was just coming in. But man, what that. a what an f you to to, to uh, what archetypes. An f you. <laughs> Thank Bravo. you. Bravo. <laughs> love it. Uh, love well, what that. a great conversation. I want you guys back. It was so fun oh, talking to you. Please so come back or join us on one of our lives. Absolutely. Uh, any final, where can folks find you? Here's your chance to plug. Tell the audience. Sidley oh. Twins, Twin Talk. That's where they can find you on YouTube. They can find us. Yeah, uh, Twin Talk with the Sidley Twins, and we're also on Instagram at. Sidley twins. Sidley twins, and we you can find us on our separate pages on Twitter. We like X. we like the Twitter X. Yeah, I still say Twitter. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm me too. I refuse to update that app. But yeah, there it is. <laughs> Go find them. You can see uh, the twins over there. Nancy and Stephanie. Such a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you guys for oh, being here. Thank you. I, yeah, I'd love to. Let me know. Let's do it again. Happy to stop by or come back again. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Subscribe to them. Subscribe here if you haven't already. To Popcorn Palace. Hit the bell. Hit the button. Hit the like button, all that jazz, and leave your comments down below. We covered a lot, but what was your favorite? Tell me down below, and stay tuned for more Royal Guests of Christmas coming to you, I think. I don't know when this got released, so bear with me. But thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.